Hey Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, everyone watching the video right now. This is John, back again with another review. Today I'm here with another hot spicy bowl of ramen. Now this variety of ramen that I'll be reviewing for today is something that I've done before. However, they've updated their formula. So without further ado, this is the Caldo brand. That's a Korean ramen brand. And it's not written in English on here because this is the Korean import version. But uh, if you recognize this symbol, it's the Tumse variety. But the update you can see is right here. 9,413 Scoville heat units. Uh, to compare, their previous uh, variety, their import variety was, uh, I believe, like, 8,500 ish so they've increased it by about a thousand Scoville heat units and if you want to compare that to the Samyang their spiciest is the 2x spicy uh, which they advertise at, I believe 8,800 Scoville heat units so this is advertised as being hotter than the 2x spicy no it's not, still not nearly as hot as the 18 prohibited one, which I still happen to have one packet of. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm certainly not going to eat it. Uh, I tried it once, I didn't get very far, and it was not pleasant. But uh, if you have any ideas what I should do with it, maybe there's a YouTuber out there who wants uh, to do a video of it but can't find it, I'll gladly send it to you, just let me know. But uh, let's go ahead and do this one. The Paldo Tomb Say, uh, the updated version of 9,413 Scoville units. We're going to do a quick uh, showing of the bowl itself. Does it look spicy? Comes with a little pack of vegetables and your pack of spicy powder you mix it with 500 milliliters of water and boil it till it's your desired softness of noodle anyway let's go ahead and try some of these noodles out see if it is spicier than the 2x Okay, off the initial hit, there is some tingling on my tongue here. There's definitely spice in here. But it doesn't give you like the punch in the face like the, the 2x spicy does. I just think because that's a dry noodle, meaning it doesn't have broth, that uh, the spice is stickier and it sticks to the noodles better. So you really get an initial hit of the spice a lot sooner. This one might take some time to build the spice. So, before I tell you just how spicy it is, I'm going to keep eating some. It's definitely foggy in my glasses. Of course, I'm eating this in my ramen bowl that I got from H Mart. The noodles in here have a nice bite to them. A little chewy. The uh, the vegetable packet that comes in with it, you get like a little piece of cabbage. I think there's some mushrooms in here. If I find one that I can show you, there's like a little red pepper. My nose is beginning to run, so that tells you there's definitely a good amount of spice in here, but uh, I'm not full out blowing my nose yet, just a little leakage. I have 
haven't got the hiccups yet, which is something that happens to me almost all the time when I bite into something really spicy. There's a piece of mushroom. The mushroom hydrated really well. It's really chewy. A big chunk. Some good amount of cabbage. I wish there was more of those mushrooms. Those are big. <clears throat> Chew. So, so far, I'm not getting the impression that it's hotter than the 2X Spicy. Don't get me wrong, this is spicy. If you don't like spicy things, or if you're sensitive to spice, this is definitely up there in the varieties that uh, are very spicy. But it's not spicy enough that I'm, well, I, I really need to stop eating. I need to cool down with something else. I'm thinking I could probably finish this whole bowl without any assistance. Okay, so now that I've eaten a lot of the a lot of the noodles. Actually, I'm gonna go grab a my spoon. There you go. I got my my ramen spoon. Oh, it's got some crumbly bits in it. My ramen spoon. I don't know what that was. Some kind of fuzzball that was got inside of the drawer that was in. But anyway, I'm going to use this to scoop up some of the broth and slurp that up. Because I think uh, because this is a, a broth variety, a lot of the spice is just sitting there in the broth. So I'm going to take some swigs of that. Maybe the spice level will build faster. Now with that 18 prohibited, if I took a sip of that broth from there, <coughs> yeah, that's spicy. I wouldn't be able to do this. So for this one, the spice really doesn't, uh, if you're just eating noodles, the spice isn't really attaching itself to the noodles that well. I can tell just by those few slurps of the broth that the spice is just its just keeping to the, the broth part. It's not uh, sticking to the noodles. You could probably eat all these noodles relatively easily. And once you get down to the, the broth itself, that's where you're going to feel all the heat. I can feel the back of my throat is really just coated. I can start feeling perspiration around my neck. The amount of drainage from my sinuses is really kicking up. Still, I don't think it's the broth is spicier than the 2X. Even if I was just going based on the broth, which is way spicier than just the noodles, Yeah, definitely drain now. Even if I was just going by the broth, I'd still say the 2X is spicier. Just because it hits you harder, um, it give, gave me the hiccups almost immediately when I first tried the 2X one. But uh, I'm going to have to stop this so I can go blow my nose, and then I'll finish the rest of this bowl. But uh, I think I'd, 
as I remember correctly, I thought the, the other version um, was kind of unimpressive. This one, at least the broth-wise, I'm pretty impressed. It has really coated my mouth and the back of my throat with heat. I'm perspiring behind the ears and the back of the neck. My sinuses are draining profusely. Um, but also, this has a good taste to it. The, mush the, the mushroom trunks in here are nice and big and chewy. Uh, you get a good amount of the cabbage. The flavor comes through nicely, even though it's spicy. Uh, I would have to give uh, this bowl of ramen probably an 8.75 out of 10. It's really in the B-plus range of uh, ramens. It's definitely not the tastiest ramen I had, but it's very tasty. And uh, with that, I'll say goodbye. Give this video a thumbs up, like it, subscribe to my channel, and until my next video, whenever that may be, so long. Bye.